Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's Inspired by Dreams Clothing, and you can check me out at Inspired by Dreams shop and that's dreams with three z's at the end okay today's episode let's just jump right into it self-love in the busy city of atlanta a young woman named maya navigated her way through life Carrying the weight of confusion about her sexual identity, Maya was bright and creative, working in a local art gallery, but she struggled with understanding who she truly was. This inner conflict left her feeling isolated and unsure of herself. One evening, after gathering the courage, Maya decided to open up to her parents about her feelings. She sat them down in the living room, her heart pounding with fear and hope. Mom, Dad, I need to tell you something important. I've been feeling different, and I'm trying to understand my sexual identity. Her parents' reaction was immediate and harsh. They were shocked and angry, refusing to accept Maya's truth. Her father's voice was cold as he said, You're just confused. This isn't who you are. Her mother, tears streaming down her face, simply turned away. The rejection and verbal abuse that followed crushed Maya, making her feel even more alone. Feeling unloved and desperate for acceptance, Maya turned to social media to find a sense of belonging. She started sharing her thoughts and feelings online, catching the attention of a famous hip-hop producer named Rex. Rex reached out to Maya, promising her a better life and the chance to pursue her dreams in the music industry. Maya, longing for an escape from her painful home life, eagerly accepted Rex's offer. She packed her bags and left for Los Angeles, dreaming of a new beginning. However, the reality was far from what she had imagined. Upon arrival in LA, Maya was introduced to the dark side of the entertainment industry. Rex's promises of fame and fortune quickly turned into a nightmare. She was manipulated, controlled, and abused by powerful figures who saw her as nothing more than a means to their own ends. The industry's higher ups with their demonic and exploitative ways stripped away her dignity and hope. At her lowest point, Maya met another woman named Alex at a support group for abused individuals. Alex was kind and understanding, offering Maya the compassion and friendship she desperately needed. Over time, their bond grew deeper and Maya found herself falling in love with Alex. This newfound love brought a glimmer of hope into her dark world. Alex helped Maya realize that the way she allowed herself to be loved was crucial. Maya, Alex said gently one evening, you deserve to be loved for who you are not for what others want you to be, and you must protect yourself from those who seek to harm you. With Alex's support, Maya gathered the strength to escape the clutches of the abusive industry. They planned their escape carefully, leaving behind the false promises and toxic environment. It was a perilous journey, but Maya's determination to reclaim her life and identity was unwavering. Maya and Alex returned to Atlanta, where Maya faced her parents once more. This time, she was stronger and more confident. This is who I am, she told them firmly, and I won't let anyone define me or my worth. Her parents, seeing the change in their daughter, began to understand the depths of her struggle. It was a slow process, but they started to educate themselves, gradually accepted Maya for who she was. See, Maya's journey was a painful and emotional one, marked by abuse and betrayal. 
But through the darkness, she found love and strength. Her story is a powerful reminder of the importance of self-love and the courage to stand up against abuse. It teaches us that true love respects and protects and that we must cherish ourselves enough to fight for our dignity and happiness. Until next time, Mickey made it.